for this lightweight contest. And at 22, Georgia Sarukian is five years younger than Dagestan's Makachev. Makachev is three inches taller, but Sarukian will enter the octagon with a useful two-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the coming event of the evening. This fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, fully professional record, 13 wins, one loss. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Krasnodar, Russia, by way of Phuket, Thailand, Armen Ahalkadalek Sarukyan. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a combat samba fighter, holding a professional record, 16 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Makhachkala, Russia, presenting the Combat Samba World and European Champion, Islam Makhachkala! Yeah. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean will officiate this lightweight fixture. All set for a maximum three five-minute rounds of action. The newcomer, Sarukian. Running a four-fight win streak, Islam Makhachev. They touch him up, Sarukian in the red, Makhachev in the grey. Sarukian's been bowling around fight week with this glint in his eye. And the, the only other person that I would compare him to about that is actually his teammate, Peter Yan. It's like he knows something that we don't, and we're about to find out what that might be. Lots of kicks to start with. Yep. Trying to maintain that distance between them. Reminding Makachev that there's a danger if he rushes forward. That spinning back kick's not necessarily on the table against the southpaw, though. What would you say, Paul? You're, you're taking... Oh, that's interesting. Both those guys yeah, just slipped guys. right here in this first round. Very unfortunate. Dang. Yeah, I agree. Unless you can switch your stance and throw it the other side, I, I wouldn't throw. It's going to throw you off in a position that's probably going to leave you wide open for a takedown, right. honestly, because you're going to go to the outside of their body if you miss it. And give your back. You know? Yeah, exactly. Even if you land on the midsection, you Guys, this is off. this is significant because Makachev has never been taken down in his UFC career. Still hasn't been taken down. <laughs> Still hasn't been taken down in his UFC. <laughs> Correction. So it's not significant yet, John. <laughs> we were talking, John. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought I was on the cusp totally of something kidding. right here. Totally kidding. You know, that's why I never did comedy. It's just timing's always out. <laughs> this is good pressure early. This is a smart idea, though, possibly, to flip the script on Makachev. Did you pressure him? Huh? But then again, if, you know, if uh, Sarukian's team felt like kicking was the difference in this fight, Maybe then, closing distance wasn't yeah, the uh, way to go there. Th this may be instinct. Th this may be instinct kicking in. Makachev said that although his four-fight winning streak is impressive, five is definitely more impressive, and he'll start making some ambitious call-outs. Oh, oh lovely! Slip straight to mount. mount. That is exemplary. What a beautiful sequence! And he's trapped the arm as well. Yeah, yeah. Sarukian's only got his left arm to help defend himself. Terrible position. Cries of Islam are ringing around. Look at those heavy hips, beautiful butterfly work from Sarukian, really nice work, it's great to oh, scramble. He's got to watch his neck, oh. he's got to watch his neck. Squared up well, but he's going to get snapped down here. Or need in the face. Yep. Yeah, he blocked that well though, Sarukian did, he's trying to, trying to throw his arm to the side to create some space. Oh, oh nice. Oh, that's lovely. Good scramble to top position beautiful though. Beautiful job. That's pretty oh, lovely too. He's got his neck. What a great battle this He's is. using the cage to try to get a better position on it. He's stepping on the fence to actually yeah. prop himself up to get a better angle on this guillotine. But I think he's going to give up oh, on it. In oh, that's inside. You know, we did see we did see Makachev giving his neck up over and over again against Nick Lentz, but yes. not one time did he get caught with something. And if, and if you're not going to get, if you're going to be able to avoid Nick Lentz's guillotine, right. you can be getting out of anybody's guillotine. Exactly. That guy's got a, a sneaky fast guillotine. 
It is something that we see quite a lot, though. He does leave his neck vulnerable. I mean, obviously, if, he, if his defense is so good, then it might be something he's not going to be worried about too much. But that also might leave him over oh, now. Lovely it's timing there. And on the canvas, still not counted as a takedown, I don't oh, believe. Oh, no, I thought we had one there for a second. Well, I have a for three on the stats at the moment. Oh, look at that! Does that no, count? No, 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 no! My goodness, what oh, a scramble! Oh, this wrestling is ridiculous. Is he going to go far side hook? Oh, nice work by Makachev to stand up. They counted up. that one, Dan. They counted that one officially. A significant jump. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice work using the butterfly hooks as well to continue moving the stra scramble along. He did the same thing when he was on the floor on his back as well. So Rukin won the Tiger Muay Thai tryouts in 2018, which got him a year's free training, accommodation and meals. It's a fantastic scheme that they have over in Thailand. A lot of people from all around the world go for that. Nice, look at that. That He's little trip. The, yeah, wrist Sneaky. control again. He pulls the wrist across the midsection to twist the body towards the foot sweep and then blocks the foot. I like that. I'm stealing that. Thank you, Parker Show. Yeah, right. If you can get that straight to mount in your next fight. Uh, hey, listen, give me, let me, let me at least attempt it first, Dan. Nice, dirty boxing from Makachev. Now we've got some space. Do we see some kicks from Sarukian here? Makachev also has the least That's amount right. of significant strikes absorbed per minute in UFC history. Oh. Time on the level change with a good sprawl from Makachev. Last few seconds in this round. We'll be back with round number two. Breathe. Breathe. Don't force anything. All, all good. Everything's all right. All good. 40 seconds. Resting. Everything's good. You're doing everything right. Control him. Be confident. Control him. Be careful. Everything is good. Work. You saw him. Let's go. Now you are working. Back live in St. Petersburg. Round number two ahead. And what a contest we have here between Islam Makhachev and Arman Sarukian. Brilliant wrestling exchanges, very difficult to even keep up with it. Dan, what were the messages between the corners? I, I wasn't really sure, to be honest, John. I was more paying attention to the posture of both the fighters. You know, Makachev, it's the first time he's been under any kind of real wrestling offensive where he's, uh, he's had to be on the back foot. But he seemed very calm, calm and confident in his corner. Uh, the, the difference here is, you know, how does uh, Sarukian approach this second round? Does he, does he continue trying that wrestling offensive, which really they're kind of butting heads against, they're kind of 50-50 in that one? Or does he start to diversify his attack, see a few more kicks that may set up the power hands that we know he's got as well? I'm just really impressed with his wrestling. I mean, Makachev is one of the best out there. And he was able to take him down, even if it was for a, just a split second, but he was able to mix it in and counter his wrestling and flow with him which is impressive all on its own. One thing that's evident when you shoot on Makachev is that nice you, you don't get the takedown defended. It gets defended and then you get punished for it by getting stuck in a front headlock. Yeah, yeah this is some really high level answering though by Sarukian who actually played hockey to a good level but really did find his North Star with MMA. Wrestling was part of that growing up. But as we see, he does it so very well. For mixed martial arts, went high there. Doing a good job circling to the close side of Makachev here, circling to the lead leg, taking away that, uh, throws the back kick. I feel like that would expose his back. He's got to be careful throwing it, but watch, we say that until he lands it. Yeah, right. He's shooting a lot here. I feel like that, intro, that uh, entry to the takedown was much more to come up into a clinch position. And he's got to watch that wrist control from Makachev again. He's going to grab that far side wrist. Now he's, he's, he's blocking it. He's trying to fight that, that uh, wrist control. 
but he knows that body lane. Left back chef too. He knows that trip's there now. He's been caught with it one time. That's probably what he's trying to do as well as land that right knee, land that right knee, and then switch the side, and that's when he goes with that left foot out and gets that trip. He doesn't have that full wrist control. They're just kind of like playing back and forth with who's controlling that hand right now. He's putting his hand there in that position. He's trying to actually control Makachev's hand right now. Cries of Islam ringing around the arena. They have been behind their man all week. Oh, there it is again. So quick. Just swipes away the leg. Runs the pipe down to the mat. But Saruki does a really good job of getting straight back up. We, we may see another contender emerging here in this division. Just, well, just based on how 50-50 this is. Some wrist control here. You can see um, Sorukian's locked in on the Kimura grip here. But yeah. has to let go of it. this kid is ridiculous. Oh, still on it. Kimura. Still on it. Still on it. How insane would that be right now? Now this is very much a strength-based move, especially when uh, when your opponent's wise to what's happening. But you could potentially use it to just sweep or get some space, force Makachev to have to defend it, maybe move around, and he could use that to pop back up to his feet. Or, or using the butterfly hook as well to control that far side and sweep him over towards the Kimura. Now he lets go of it. Sarukin was looking around for some instruction from his corner. It's coach Sergei the luck in here right now. Yeah, he moved. He left. That, he left home from his family to actually move in with his coach. That is really years nice. ago. That hip pressure that he uses to oh, slide yeah. past the guard. So that strong to his feet. feet. That's insane. Beautiful job. Yeah, yes. Right. Both guys. I mean, the back and forth grappling you're seeing right now. This is when you see wrestling and MMA grappling at its finest. And this, to me, is exciting to watch. You don't know what's going to happen, who's going to end up on top at any different time. I'm going to put it out there. I don't I don't believe that the Makachev camp really thought they were going to be in for this level of wrestling. No, I don't think so either. I think they thought they were going to dominate in that position. Heading towards the last 30 seconds of this second round now. It's so difficult to score. I mean, one takedown of seven for Makachev. Uh, sorry, two takedowns of seven for Makachev, one of oh, eight for Sarukia. I mean, the strikes, the ten ahead for Makachev, 37 to 27 on total strikes. But, I mean, it's still razor thin. The judges don't see that. Uh -uh. No, very difficult to score this fight. Last ten seconds. We're going to have a short break, 30 seconds, and we'll be back with the third and final round. Listen to me. We're not working on it with him on the ground. We need to strike with him. Move more. Need to move. Need to move to the left. Left hook, right. Welcome back to St. Petersburg, where we are just ahead of the second round, looking into the third and pull some great grappling exchanges. Well, yeah, we were talking about that in the first round. That was a beautiful sweep there. He, what he does is he controls the wrist, pulls it across your body, and then trips you outside trip. And he actually, the first round ended up in mount with that. But we see the counter wrestling from Saryukin here is ridiculous he is battling back he's getting his own takedowns he actually was able to take Makashev down he attempts that sweep again but so you can defends it up I mean these guys have been going back and forth and grappling if you can't get excited about grappling and wrestling based on this oh. then don't watch Herb's not even sending them back to their corner no. now they, they want to start in a 50-50 position I think. <laughs> who's starting down in this round yeah <laughs> oh so nice right hand what, would you say that was like a uh, Hadouken? A, a Hadouken? Hadouken? Yeah. I knew it was coming at some point. <laughs> they had to, right? I feel like Makachev's got to make something oh, happen nice. this round. Wow, that was a really nice little slip over right hand. Oh, oh kick! Huge kick there. That must have rattled the chin of Sarukian. And that was something they didn't expect from Makachev. No. The kicking game. 
may only be able to use that kicking credit one time though now uh, Sarukian's wise to it he already reached for that first kick and maybe Michael Chess faints and he's going to go high next let's talk about how in shape these guys are yeah that's a good point that's a grueling pace we're in the third round Neither one really seems to be over breathing or or slowing down that much. I mean, obviously they're a little fatigued. It's the third round of an MMA fight where there's been a lot of wrestling, but both guys came in shape for this fight. Yeah, absolutely. I thought that Makhachev looked fresher going back to the stool, if I'm honest. But Sarukin's recovered very quickly as he tries to set up the shot. He's having success there on the feet. I think he should have just kept going with that. But like you said earlier, Dan, that could just be his instincts. That's what he's done in his other fights is boom, 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 take down, double leg, slam a guy down. You know what? You know when you're watching something that's so high level is when what they're making it look like slow motion. Yeah. It's so beautiful that this wrestling is almost like it's happening in slow motion, but it's just the finesse in which they're both operating. So Rukin looking over at his corner, checking up at the uh, at the big screen. Neither of these fighters have actually seen the scorecards for a loss in their careers. So they've always been favoured. Oh, nice little elbow off the break there. So Rukin. So Rukin, I would, if I was in his corner, tell him not to spin and kick. No now, spin, Dan. just... Oh! oh. Amazing takedown effect with the nice knees and hands. The yeah. question is, is this now starting to fatigue Sarukian? So is he starting to slow down, down right? for sure. And I think Marcus Jeff senses that, gets a yeah. big takedown. See, has, has Sarukin already thrown the kitchen sink at this point? What is... Look at that leg control, beautiful binding of the legs there. This is the speciality of this team, really. Oh, what's yeah. it get, Dan? There's the wrist bar. What's there it really called? The Dagestani handcuff. Dagestani handcuff, man. You're on it, Paul. <laughs> and he's right in his corner as well. We can see Javier Mendez and Habib's coach in the corner. Yeah, just under two minutes. A lot of knowledge and experience in that corner, right, right accessible to him. Makachev three to one on takedowns. It's not for a want of trying, however, by Sarukian. Oh no, man! This, it, we said it when he came out. He didn't seem overwhelmed. He seemed to be enjoying the moment, and he fought like it. He came out here to win. He didn't come out here to be a sacrificial lamb. He came out here to put on a show. A show. And I can't wait to see what's next for the guy if he doesn't win a decision here tonight. But I mean, he's still in this fight. You've got to think after a performance like this, he's going to struggle to get a fight in this division. Most guys aren't going to want to deal with someone. I don't want to fight. Um, <laughs> We've found his next matchup. <laughs> Driving into the fence is Makachev, who's going to try and secure another takedown here. Yeah, you can see the face of Saruki, and he's feeling it a little bit. Another takedown is using that butterfly hook, but just heavy, the, heavy the, yeah, the float of Makachev just too much. Four to one now on takedowns for Makachev. Ankle lock possibly if Sarukin can create some space. I just don't know if he's got the energy to push Makachev yeah, right. off enough to get to that leg. He's trying. You see Makachev just sitting down on him. I, I think his hips are, are a heavy weight, to be honest. He yeah, might be a lightweight, yeah, right, but his, right. hip, his hip weight is heavy. Same with Habib, man. I'm sure it's the same kind of pressure. Where you can't, it's something you can't see uh -huh. as somebody watching. You have to grab oh, them. Oh, where they go oh again. God. Lace of the legs, real sovereignty on the ground from Makhachev. Head pressure and just punching above his head into the face of Sarukin. He's doing a great job, but... So are we going to call those the Dagestani leg irons? <laughs> and that's all you, Dan. Ooh. That's all you. That was what a fight. I'm not stealing that one. What a fight. That was a great fight. Really evenly matched. Well, it has gone to the scorecards. We will have the decision when we return. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28 for the winner. By unanimous decision, Islam Makhachev!